at a campaign rally for Republican congressional candidate Joe Kent. Clark County auditor candidate Brett Simpson told voters that election fraud is rampant. Now you can see the scale of the fraud that is taking place in the state of Washington. Here in Clark County, we didn't quite shoot the moon like Snohomish did, but we ended up with over 90% of all printed ballots returned. It's an impossibility. It's completely out of the normal and it's completely out of the historics of voting in the United States. But the certified vote totals don't back that up. And there is no evidence of voter fraud in Clark County, as Simpson claims. About 85 percent of registered voters in Clark County voted in the 2020 presidential election. Similarly, 85 percent of voters cast their ballots in 2008, as Barack Obama and John McCain squared off. About 77 percent turned out in 2016. We asked County Auditor Greg Kimsey, who both oversees the county's election results and is running against Simpson for re-election, for his response to Simpson's numerous claims of voter fraud. One being the amount of ballots returned in 2020 uh, was an impossibility, <laughs> there was too many here in Clark County. Why are you smiling? Because uh, it's just so patently not true. <laughs> um, the returns in the 2020 were not at all abnormal. Kimsey says he's astounded that people continue to believe disproven claims about widespread election fraud. Misinformation about elections undermines people's confidence in the, in the results of elections, which is a direct threat to our democracy. At the so, Kent campaign event, one of Simpson's statements yeah, received a bigger reaction um, than the rest. The is we actually don't own our own registra voter registrations. It's done by a third party company by the name of Eric. It's Electronic Registration Information Center. It was seed funded by George Soros' Open Society in 2011. And Let's break down Simpson's statement here. First off, what is ERIC? ERIC's made up of a coalition of 33 states and Washington, D.C. It reviews voter rolls to help make sure they're accurate and up-to-date. Because many people don't remember to update their voter registration when they move states, or because people die, ERIC provides reports to states to help them prevent potential voter fraud. Eric's also been the subject of conspiracy theories from far-right media this year. Washington's elections director says simply, Eric's just a huge help. So to say uh, that Eric is doing anything is, is misleading. It's providing us with data and information that we would otherwise not have in order to increase the integrity of the voter registration role. So it's a tool that we need um, as election administrators uh, to ensure that people that are registered uh, in another state get removed from their voter rolls in our state. The state of Washington was one of seven states of both Republican and Democratic leadership that started ERIC in 2012. As for Simpson's claims about George Soros, the billionaire philanthropist, his Open Society Foundations gave a one-time $500,000 contribution to Pew Charitable Trust. Pew is a national nonpartisan nonprofit that receives more than $300 million in grants annually. Pew provided startup funding for ERIC in 2012, but ERIC has been funded by the member states ever since. It's up to the individual states to submit voter registration and licensing data to ERIC, and then use any ERIC reports to then check and manage their own voter lists. So we, we end up with much better voter registration rolls, much cleaner, much more accurate voter registration rolls with ERIC than without ERIC. Now I'd like to share my reporting process for this story. I saw Brett Simpson speak at a recent campaign event and recorded these comments. I then talked with the Washington Secretary of State's office and the ERIC organization. Then I asked Clark County Auditor and Simpson's opponent, Greg Kimsey, for his response. Then yesterday I sent a message to Brett Simpson explaining this process and how I had researched and then refuted some of his claims about fraudulent elections. I asked Simpson if he'd like to add or clarify anything from his statements. He didn't respond to that email. However, this afternoon, Brett Simpson did post a video on his Facebook page. He said that this report would be a hit piece of gaslighting from the mainstream media. He also criticized media attention on this county auditor's race, calling it literally unprecedented. However, Simpson did not respond to my questions about his false claims about Eric or the voter turnout from the 2020 presidential election. So, Pat, that's how we got here. I should add that the state of Washington's elections director also said that these claims of voter fraud are, are proven false at this point. OK, and just to remind people, he's running for a position called auditor. But in fact, he's going to be in charge of elections. Yes, the county auditor position is the chief financial officer for the county, but also the main role that I mean, most people know is overseeing the uh, accountable, fair, accurate elections process. And is there anyone else running? Is it just him and the incumbent? In the Clark County voters pamphlet, it's just those two individuals, Greg Kimsey, who you saw, and Brett Simpson, who you both saw in this story. Okay, interesting reporting. Thanks, Evan.